ghetto bird making its rounds in the barrio. Same old shit, different day. Anyway, we've already established the fact that playing the gangbang role, there's no future in it. All it's doing is destroying La Raza from within. Those who play the gangbang role are indirectly putting in work for those who hate La Raza, have total disdain for La Raza, can't stand La Raza, want to push La Raza back to where they belong, wherever that is, right? So anyway, there is no excuse for making war against your own people over something that you could never buy, sell, nor own, the neighborhoods, the barrios you live in. Why would you make war against your own people? Raza against Raza doesn't make any sense. You're all connected, all intertwined. It's meaningless. Unity must prevail in these barrios across Asla. Or else, like I said before, La Raza is as good as dead. Always remember that. When you make war against your own people, you are committing the act of treason. You are a malinche, a vendido, a sellout, a traitor, a turncoat, a Benedict Arnold, to put it bluntly. In the words of Emiliano Zapata, I forgive those who murder in steel because they did it out of necessity. But a traitor? Never. Think about that. For those, you, those of you playing the gangbang role, fighting over shit you could never buy, sell, nor own, the neighborhoods you live in. Rasa comes first. Right? Rasa comes first. I like to give a special shout out to all the Chicano lowrider clubs across Califas and beyond. If there's anyone who leads by example when it comes to Rasa unity, it's you. Remember that. Keep doing your thing, lowrider clubs. You are the leaders when it comes to carnalismo across Aslan. Aho. Woo! Don't kill La Raza. Help La Raza to live. <laughs>